Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back, the Southern Clairvoyant. My name is Patty and I am so happy you are here. Today we're going to be working on our wedding junk journals. So grab your coffee and grab your tea, sit back, relax, and junk journal with me. See, this is what we have. This is what we've been working on. Please, please, if you enjoy this content, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. But yeah, this is what we're going to be working on today. Look at that. <laughs> so this is what we've been working on. Our little wedding junk journal books. And if you're not making a wedding junk journal, you can just make one for Mother's Day or maybe a special family member, maybe a sister, maybe just a friend. And if you feel like that you're no good at junk journaling, just think again. Also, if you feel like you don't have time to junk journal, oh, just make time. Try to find at least one hour a week. So I skipped a few pages here. I think this was the last page that we worked on, right? Look how pretty, I love this page. And you know, I keep forgetting <laughs> that I have these feathers and I want to use these somehow in my junk journaling. I don't quite know what I'm going to use them or how I'm going to use them, but I definitely want to use them. And I can tell you right now, they're going to be kind of, <laughs> ooh, messy to use. <laughs> they're floating around a little as soon as I open them. But you're going to need scissors, a book, some kind of, hole punch. I have this heart. I have these that I got at the Dollar Tree. You're going to need some decorative scissors. These are optional, but I got these at the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure, to be honest, where I got the other decorative scissors. I looked at Walmart and I didn't see any at Walmart, so I'm not quite sure where or what craft store that I got um, my scissors from. But you're gonna need ribbon. I got my ribbon here. That's not all the ribbon, I've got more over there. You're gonna need some cardstock. Now they have cardstock at the Dollar Tree, but I'm telling you right now, it's more like construction paper and it doesn't cut very well. It cuts with regular scissors, but when you're using these decorative scissors, it doesn't cut very well. So just become aware of that. I get mine at Walmart and Walmart, the paper, it's in the scrapbook aisle where the scrapbook paper is and the paper is very, very high quality. In a huge Ziploc bag, I've got just some various stickers and these real pretty beads that I'm going to be using, just decorate with. I also have these heart doilies. I think I might use some of this today. I definitely want to use these feathers because the stickers that I have, they, they're these cute little birds. See, look at that. You see that feather? And these cute little birds. <laughs> so, I'm going to start the clean slate here. And I'm going to pick out some pretty paper. I love this paper. This is the paper pack that we've been using. to screenshot it. It came from Walmart in the scrapbook aisle and it was $11.22. Now you can use any 
type, any style of paper that you desire. If you even don't want to use paper, you can go to the Dollar Tree and find some beautiful gift wrap and just use gift wrap through your entire book. Just two or three different styles of gift wrap. That's an option. But I'm going to pick out some paper. Now, the reason why I chose this paper pad was because a lot of this were working also on a cookbook on this channel. And I'm just going to use this paper for the wedding and this paper for the cookbook or what have you. But honestly, I like this. I think I'm just going to go with this pink. This time, let's just go for it. <laughs> yeah. Now, also, I have a lot of my scrap paper out as well. So, I'm going to try to utilize some scraps today. I think I'm going to... I don't really want to mess this up, so I think I'm just going to fold this paper in half. Also, I'm very frugal. This is going to be a very frugal channel. <laughs> I understand that money is tight and things are just pricey. I'm going to go with these decorative scissors today. But we're going to just to stay low budget here as possible. I get a lot of questions about my channel. A lot of people get confused. They don't really understand what I do on my channel. Well, I just I share Appalachian home remedies, cooking recipes, shopping hauls, and of course, junk journaling. It's just a day in my life channel. So whatever I'm doing in my daily life, I'll vlog and I'll share it with you guys. That's what my channel is all about. So since this paper has lines on it, I think I'm just going to cut right through it and just kind of follow the line. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know I say that all the time. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put one going this way and one going this way. So I don't want to cut too much of that image. Hmm. Let me uh, trim this up right here. I think I'm just going to eyeball it. Yeah, and just cut it. See how pretty that paper. You don't want to throw that away. Save that. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to put one. That's too long. That's okay. I can just cut this off. No problem. I'm going to put one right here. Look how pretty that is already. I don't know if I want to put one going up and down the page or if I want to go across. Totally up to you. I really don't want to cut too much of this off. Um, honestly, I think I'm going to I'm going to cut it right like this. I tell you what, you guys, we've got some beautiful weather here today. I'm in South Carolina, and it's 78 degrees today, but. If I go outside right now, my allergies will start just attacking me. So, I'm going to stay in. And I decided to stay in and just work on my little book with you guys. So, I think I'm going to pick out some papers that will match this. Okay, so I decided to go with this. It's like a purpley blue. It's not purple and it's not really blue. It's like a periwinkle blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down and I'm using this Elmer's glue. It goes on purple, but it dries clear. 
I'm not gonna worry about getting it on my tablecloth because it's washable. So your kids or your grandkids could absolutely help you with this project. So I know this is pretty plain looking, but this is what I have so far. Just glued that down. I made me some pockets right here and right here. Also, I made a video on how we used, how we cut these little tags out of boxes. <laughs> so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out as well. Now we're gonna dress this up. I need to punch holes in these. Now when you punch these, I know I'm repeating myself, but these are for the new viewers. You'll wanna come down. You don't want it too close to the top because if you put ribbon in here and this is too thin, it could rip it. So you wanna make sure that you have enough space. Leave enough space in there. Hmm. When I cut my ribbon, I'm gonna cut it at an angle so it doesn't fray. Yeah, I don't want it to fray. If it does, it's okay. It gives it character, right? <laughs> yeah, there's no pressure to junk journaling. Just whatever, you know, whatever goes. <laughs> That's what I love about it. It's a very, very relaxing and anyone can do it. Just anyone can do it. That didn't want to cut right. There we go. See? This is still really plain to me, but it's coming together. I have these stickers that look like pearls. Ooh, I think this would be so pretty on this. Okay, you guys, I have an announcement. I'm going to be announcing the winner of the junk journaling kit uh, the last day of February. When is that? Last day of February. Um, I think it's on a Tuesday, 28th. Pretty sure it's on a Tuesday. So I will be announcing, so stay tuned for that. And if you're not registered, all you have to do is comment the word yes. Comment at the bottom, down in the comments, the word yes, Y-E-S. And you'll be entered to for a chance to win a junk journaling kit from me. All I need is your address. There's no catch. Um, all I ask that, of course, you be subscribed to my channel. I'm beyond grateful for each and every one of you. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. You know I do. We're family here. And you will win a book, you know, a journaling book, and some glue, and some ribbon, uh, some scissors, a few other little goodies, some stickers. So there's no catch, it's all free from me to you to show my appreciation. Now I will be doing these giveaways periodically and I'll have, you know, different comment words at the bottom. So that's what we have so far. Isn't that cute? I love it already. It's still, of course, really plain. Okay, and this is what we have so far. Now, this area right here looks kind of bland, kind of plain to me. And of course, I have this little piece of scrap paper that I cut from this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to kind of clean it up, make it a bit more 
squares looking. Just a tad. It's got a little cute little rose on it. I think I'm just gonna glue it right there. Yeah, to just bring it all together. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna glue that down right like that. See what I did? What do you guys think? Now, you can put whatever you want in here. I'm just making a demo because a sweet viewer asked me to do so. She asked me if I could just create a wedding journal and to make it the way you want it. And if you're not working on a wedding journal, maybe you're working on, like I said, a Mother's Day journal or just whatever, just a journal for you. It doesn't have to be themed. It doesn't have to be anything. I'm going to go to the next page and I'm going to flip through my book. This doesn't have to be fancy or anything. You know, a lot of people ask me, what goes in a junk journal? Anything you want. You can do it with nature. You can do butterflies or birds or pictures of the lake or the beach or theme it any way you want. You can put your favorite poetry in there, your favorite Bible verses. Um, you can just put your favorite song lyrics in there or just whatever your heart desires whatever you would like to go into a junk journal that's what you put in there <laughs> so you know i don't know but this just looks like look at that it looks like um laminate flooring to me i don't know why or a kitchen backsplash yeah I'm going to cut right in the middle of it. I'm going to measure it right here. I'm not measure it. I'm sorry. I'm just going to make a crease and just cut it right here. What do you guys think? This, this pink page or this? Do you guys like the pink? You want to try the pink? I think I like it, to be honest. I think I'm going to scallop it all the way. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. Okay, I've got this beautiful ribbon that says bride and groom. And I just cut me a piece off that says bride and so I can glue it down over here. And of course, I'm going to save the groom one for the next page for the bride and the groom. So this is what I have so far. I'm going to glue all this down. I'm going to glue all this down. And then I will make a tag well, I'll glue this side down. I'll be right back. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this off. Ooh, I got glue on me already. <laughs> I'm going to take this off. See, as you work on your book, see the thickness? That's why I love these binder books you can open it and lay it as flat as possible they're only a dollar 25 you know at, at at the dollar tree so but yeah i'm gluing this side only down for now i'm going to glue this bride ribbon down i got this at the dollar tree everything came from the dollar tree except this paper pack, which came from Walmart, and of course, um, some of this cardstock did not come from the Dollar Tree, and some of it did. This so happened came from the Dollar Tree, believe it or not.
My goal is just to inspire you guys. I just want you to be inspired. This is a huge stress reliever. If you suffer from anxiety, I suffer from anxiety. And if you suffer from anxiety, you would not believe the stress and the anxiety that this lifts from you just by junk journaling. You'll absolutely love it. And if you get overwhelmed with it, just walk away from it. Put it away for a while. I promise you it, it works. It relieves that anxiety and that stress. I'm going to glue every thing on this side completely down. I'm not going to put a tag over here. I'm just going to decorate it. Okay. See? See what I did? I'm going to glue. Now, I will put a tag over here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this piece completely down on my page just like I did the other, all four sides. <laughs> it's sticking to me. I'm gonna glue that down right there. And this one, I'm not gonna glue the top. I'm only gonna glue the sides and the bottom. I'm gonna leave the top open so that way I can put a tag. So I glued the sides and the bottom only. I'm gonna leave that top open so I can put a tag down in there. Oh, and you guys, you know what? I totally forgot that I had <laughs> these stamps that I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And I'm going to show you how I use these. Yep, I'm definitely going to show you. And those feathers are going crazy. I kind of wish I wouldn't have opened them now, but I'm going to actually use them right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and use them. Okay, how about the pinks? <laughs> I'm going to see if I can not make it look so perfect here. See if I can ruffle the feathers here just a tad. <laughs> Cause it just looks so, um, too perfect. You know, I like that. That looks a lot better now that I've opened. See what I did? I'm just kind of pulling these apart. Yeah. My goodness. No, no, these are fake feathers. If they were real, I'd probably be sneezing and coughing. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm trying to just open it up a little, make it look not so together and perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, I love that. That's gorgeous. So, I'm gonna glue this down. I'm going to glue my paper and then stick the feather to the paper. Like that. Cause this is gonna dry clear. See what I did? Yeah, it'll, it'll dry clear and it'll stay. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so I'm going to get a tag. Oh, I need something to put those feathers in. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut me off some. Okay, and I'm just going to put it down on this side. Yep. I'm going to cut it more straight. A bit more. Mm -hmm. And it'll tie it in together a lot better. <laughs> that rhymed, but we just cherish forever and love.
Yeah, I think I'm going to... I think I want to use one of these. Okay. And this is what we have so far. What do you guys think? See what I did? I just put these little stickers there on. Now, we're going to put a tag. I'm going to just put this tag right here. And you can write on the back. You can let her write on the back. And I'm still wanting to put something right here. This right here is really just, it's bothering me. So, I got, I cut some of this paper when I cut this right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure it and I'm just going to glue it down to that because that's just bothering me for some reason. It just looks kind of plain to me. So, I'm just going to eyeball it and I'm just going to glue it down. I don't even care if it's a little crooked or what, but yeah, it just looks a little plain. So, I'm just going to glue some paper right on top of this ribbon just to give it a little bit of something here. I'm just going to leave these blank and you can just put a picture right there of the bride. See what I did with that? What do you guys think? I really like it. And there's a tag right here. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to go and add just a few of these little curls somewhere. Yeah, I just added a few little. See what I did? Okay. There we go. Now, we're going to do, let's do the groom. Now, we're going to do darker colors over here. What do you guys think? Or you want to go with this gray. Since we went with this pink, we could do this gray and gold over here. Let's just, let's try it. Now, I'm just going to fold this paper on, on my crease and I'm going to cut. I hope everybody's been doing good. You know, I was reading online the other day, you know, the little Debbie cakes. You know, you guys, all these years, you know, I love Little Debbie cakes. Oh my gosh. Um, I didn't know that Little Debbie was a real person. <laughs> I had no idea. Apparently, her grandfather is the CEO of the company or the boss or the owner or what have you. Yeah. Did you guys know, comment down below if you knew that little Debbie is a real person and that her grandfather is the owner or the CEO or whatever of the little Debbie company, cake company. I just, I, it blew my mind. I, I didn't know. I'm just, I don't know. Either I'm out of it or <laughs> I'm out of a loop. I don't know. I didn't have a clue about that. <laughs> I don't even know where I read that. I, I just, like I said, I was browsing the internet and just ran up on that. I always wonder if people get other notifications the same as I do, you know, on the internet or when you're on YouTube or whatever. I just, I don't know. I always wonder about that. Like, does everybody get the same information? Does everybody get the same, you know, everything? It just makes me curious. <laughs> but yeah, I saw that. <clears throat> I saw that information on YouTube and I was like, wow, it's tripping me up. 
I'm gonna have to change my glue stick. I'll be right back. Also, I have a little secret for you guys. If you're one of those people that get a page down and you haven't glued anything down and you're afraid to move it off the page because you're afraid you don't put it back right or glue it back, you can always just screenshot a picture of it with your iPhone and just look at your photo. If you have like a lot of layout on there and you don't know if you really want to move it or if you move it and you forgot where you placed it, just take a picture of it with your um, phone and that way you'll know exactly the placement. Trust me, I have been there. I've done that before where I would um, put a layout down on my page and then I would move it and I'd be like, did I glue this up here or down here or where did I put it? I don't remember. <laughs> If you're one of those people, all you got to do is just screenshot it and just erase the picture after you're done. Or you can keep the picture for, you know, future reference. I don't know. I'm really enjoying this little book. Now, when Dollar Tree gets those prayer cards back, I'm definitely going to be buying some of those up because I love to junk journal with those. Oh, speaking of junk journaling... Pretty soon, um, possibly the first week in March. Don't mark my word to that, but possibly it's going to be in March. Okay, I'm just going to say go to Dollar Tree and get all the Disney princess books or whatever that you can possibly find. I'm going to be doing a princess junk journal book for March. It's my birthday month, you guys. It's the beginning of spring and all the beautiful things that bloom in the air and all just I love spring and my allergies not so much this is what we have so far um but I'm going to be doing a Disney princess themed junk journal yes you heard it first right here on this channel and you guys just go to your Dollar Trees and just get Disney Princess books, whatever you can find. It doesn't even have to be, you know, they have those math books and counting books with the Disney theme, Disney coloring books. If you want a junk journal with me, go ahead and get your supplies ready. Get your stickers, get your paper. Now, I'm possibly going to be just using my scrap paper that I have so I can just utilize what I have. I don't know yet. I have not been to Walmart to look at any more paper packs. I might even go to the Dollar Tree and just pick out some various gift wrap paper and possibly just cut it and just use gift wrap paper because you can absolutely, I know it's thinner, I know it's not good quality cardstock, but you can use that paper, you guys. It'll glue down just like this, and it, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. I'm going to have to have a little tuxedo. Now, I went ahead and I glued all of this down because this black, it, it fades with this. So I'm gonna put a pocket here and I'm going to put groom. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down just like I did the bride's dress over on the other, on the page we just did. I'm going to glue this down right here and you know what else, you guys? If you mess up a page, look, all you have to do is just rip it out. You can just rip it out, okay? And you got a page here, it's fine. Don't, don't stress about it. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna have to stand up to glue this down to make sure that I'm getting it where I want it. I don't think I'm gonna put any feathers on this page, but I do need to make a pocket. This is what I have so far. 
trying to make it a little more, more masculine. <laughs> also, you can dry your book. You can just open it and you can just leave it like this and dry your book like this in the middle of the night. So you guys remember these little corner tabs that we used, that we made? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna glue those down and I'm gonna use this for my, I'm gonna use this one for my tag. I'm going to create a hole here. And I'm also, I'm going to make a pocket here, but I'm going to glue these down first. This would work to make a pocket over here. Yeah, this'll work. This little scrap piece of paper, it'll work. So I'm just going to glue, actually, I think I'm gonna do it that way. I'm just gonna glue the sides and the bottom and leave the top open. See what I did? Okay. And I can stick my tag down in there. It's perfect. Okay, so now <laughs> I need to find some ribbon Hi, Rabbit. Can you say hi to the people? Say hi, friends. Right here. Can you say hi? Up here. Okay, my kitty cat <laughs> is over here. Go on. Go on, Rabbit. Good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good, he's an old kitty cat. He's still over here with me. Yeah, he's right here. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> okay, you want in the video? See him, you guys. You want to say hi? My kitty cat shakes. Shake, shake. Right here, shake. Good boy. <laughs> shake, shake. Good boy. Good boy, shake. Oh, I'll have to give you a cat treat. I'll have to give you a cat treat for that. Yeah, I will. Good boy. He's still up here, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, my kitty cat loves me. <laughs> I know you want up here with mommy. I know. Um, I'm trying to find some ribbon. That would look really good. Wait a minute. I have this black. <gasps> look, you guys. I forgot about this. What is wrong with me? Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. My kitty cat distracted me. So, I don't think I'm going to put feathers on this. What do you guys think? You think it's too girly? <laughs> I want to so bad. But, you know, like I said, you make it your own. You make it yours. Whatever goes, you know. So, you could. Yeah, it's almost time for his dinner. That's why he was over here bugging me, you guys. Yeah, you just, like I said, you don't want to tug too hard. Because if you do, this can rip. So, I'm just going to... I'm just going to cut it at an angle. Okay. See? I'm going to put it down in that holder there. Okay. This still looks really plain to me, but I guess less is best, right? This is what we have so far. What do you guys think? <laughs> hmm? You dressed it up a little bit, right? Okay. Yeah. So we did this page. We did our bride. And we did our groom.
Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and sharing a little bit of your time with me. I understand your time is very precious, but I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. And until the next video, peace.